let's get our terminology straight. We look at next step as an operating environment, much more than an operating system. The Unix, which is our operating system, is 10% of next step. So in these modern operating environments, when you develop a custom app in next step, it doesn't run on the Mac or on Windows. Can't. You need all the objects that come with next step to make it work. And, and let me go into a little detail there. How many of you are technical here? A lot. OK, great. Well, we've discovered something. You don't write code any faster in Next Step than you do in any other operating and development environment that we know of. However, to do a particular app on average, you write about 20% of the code that you do in any other development environment we know of. About 20% of the code than in Sun or in anything else. So the code that's the fastest to write, the code that's the easiest to maintain, and the code that never breaks is the code you don't write. So that's our strategy, write a lot less code. And one of the ways, uh, the, the way we do this is we enable the developer to use a lot of objects that others have written. We ship six years worth of objects with Next Step. You can create your own objects for your own company and then reuse them around your developers. And there's now independent third-party companies not selling system software, not selling applications, but selling objects. There's about a, not quite 10 of them. And it's starting. And I think it's going to be a very big thing. So in order to deliver these apps that are created on Next Step, you have to have Next Step so they can run on top and take advantage of this rich community of objects. And that's why we're porting Next Step to the 486. That's why you'll see Next Step running on several hardware platforms. And um, will there be a fracturing, if you will? Sure. To some extent, there will. And I, I, I tend to look at it as a, a transition. Was there a fracturing when Mac came out? Yes. And there's been more of a transition as people either move to Mac or, in the case of Windows, adopt what's good about the Mac. Same thing's going to happen here. We believe very strongly that the benefits from these object-oriented environments, not only just rapid development, but a much richer user environment. If you use a Next, it's a lot nicer than a Mac or a PC, even if you never developed an app. Other environments will absorb some of those breakthroughs, and more and more people will use Next Step. And things will tend to balance themselves out over time. But there will be a transition. And our goal is to make sure we're part of it.